Good morning. And are you ready to have a wonderful day? Yeah! In El Paso, Texas, veteran teacher Angelica Espinosa is facing a new challenge. 19 little bodies walking in here, all Spanish speakers, coming into an English-only class. I would speak to them in English, and I just got blank looks, just looking at the ceiling, at the rug, anywhere, you know, but at me. And those blank little looks, just, it, it broke my heart. This year, for the first time, she has a room full of five-year-olds who speak only Spanish. She's had a lot of training, but the job is hard. She needs to teach them to read in English and to get them excited about school. You know what? This is one of my favorite stories, too. Me too. For many of them, kindergarten is their first experience in their educational career. We make this a bad experience for them. You're going to ruin some of these kids. In spite of her worries, Ms. Espinosa has jumped in with both feet. She starts each day with an explicit lesson in oral English, listening, and speaking. Am I a race car driver? No. Not my job? No. Ms. Espinosa's class is riding a wave of national change. Escontrias Elementary in El Paso, Texas, is like many schools across the country. They need to teach a significant number of their young learners to listen, speak, read, and write in English. So we probably have as many as 5 million, close to 10 percent of the school age population uh, are, are English language learners in this country. Uh, by and large, if you are an English language learner, uh, your achievement tends to be lower than kids who are uh, English, English speakers. That's mainly because English language learners have to do a lot of extra work. Just following what the teacher is saying can be hard at first. Go. You need to make sure they are understanding every word that comes out of your mouth. Then once you have that connection, work on the concept. And then he puts it in the car. Take it home. Because the kids need to learn so much, it's vital that they have a skilled teacher. And the stakes are high. The Latino dropout rate is one of the highest in the nation because we have not invested our intellectual resources in preparing teachers to work effectively with ELLs. Top and mop. Top, mop. At Escontrias, Principal Ron First is making sure the story will be different for his kids. Spanish-speaking students or English language learners absolutely can learn how to read and speak and write English well. It takes Number one, a committed teacher that has a passion for her students. They need good tools, a good curriculum, something that is scientifically research-based. Ms. Espinoza is working on phonemic awareness. That's an understanding that words are made up of individual sounds and the ability to manipulate those sounds. What two words rhyme? Daniela? She. Tree. And peace. And B. It's really important to teach ELL students phonemic awareness because that's where they learn to distinguish the sounds. What's the difference between no in Espanol and no? And how, how do you place your mouth? What happens to the jaw, the lips? She also spends time every day on phonics, the relationship between letters and their sounds. This may look familiar. It turns out that many of the methods we use with native English speakers work well with ELL kids, too. But there are some adjustments that are necessary, primarily because they don't know the language, so that you have to, for example, make instruction extremely clear. And pop! You need to give nonverbal cues, hold up signs, make gestures. You need pictures. You need to provide additional supports, sometimes called scaffolds, for the English language learners to make sure they understand the message. Ms. Espinosa's got a lot of work to do, but her kids are catching on. We just had parent-teacher conferences uh, two weeks ago, and uh, there was a parent that was very concerned. Luckily, the little boy came with mom. I pulled out some of my words, and I told him, can you sound this word out for me? He sounded it out, and he put it together. Mom was in tears. My son is reading. My son is reading. 